Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Inspector Don Coleman, the Major Crimes Section of Calgary Police Service. A man has been charged in relation to the suspicious death of an elderly woman in Rideau Park this morning. At approximately 4.15 a.m. Tuesday, October 4, 2016, police were called to a residence in the 3000 block of Rideau Place Southwest for reports that someone had died. A woman believed to be in her 80s was found deceased inside the residence and a man in his 80s was taken into custody. Investigators believe the victim was assaulted during the early morning hours, though it is not yet known what prompted the attack. There is no history of domestic violence that police are aware of at this time. An autopsy is currently underway to determine the cause of death and the victim has been identified as Audrey Van Zuden, 80 of Calgary. The victim's husband, Siegfried Van Zuden, 85, has been charged with second degree murder and he'll appear in court on Wednesday, October 5th, 2016. I'll take what questions I can. What led you to the home in question? Uh, 911 call. What is it from the... Uh, fr from Mr. Van Zuden, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any indication is this gentleman suffered from uh, dementia? Uh, not that we could speak to any medical conditions of anybody that we deal with, We're prohibited from that. How rare is something like this for the age? Uh, it's very rare, fortunately. Uh, very rare and very tragic. How was the demeanor of the uh, gentleman when police arrived? Uh, Mr. Van Zuden was cooperative with the police. Are there extended family you're trying to get a hold of, I guess, with her husband now in custody, or how does that work? Yeah, there is extended family that we've been able to contact. Yeah, so they've been notified. The couple just lived there by themselves, though. Correct. Yeah. Was family here in town? I don't believe so. Uh, can you give us some kind of indication or explain why the second degree murder charges is opposed to anything else? Uh, well, n not first degree murder uh, because of what would appear to be a lack of any premeditation. So second degree murder would be the natural progression from there. Anything else? No, just for, sorry, sorry. Maybe I don't understand. If, if the suspect has a history of mental illness, especially dementia, how would you come to the second degree murder charge in all? Well, I don't know that that's the case, the history of mental illness that you stated. Uh, if that is the case, that will come forward in the hearing process. That's not up for us to determine. The elements of the offense have been met, so a charge is laid. What happens post-charge through the hearing process is, uh, is another matter and not up to us. If there is medical issues, that will come to light then. So the charges could potentially be lessened? Well, potentially, depending on what comes out of the hearing process, that's what it's there for, to make sure that if there is extenuating, extenuating circumstances that it's covered off. But that's not our role in these instances. Can you share with us what the scene was like this morning when police attended? Uh, not in particular. I don't think, uh, I, I truly don't see the value in sensationalizing this at all. It's truly a tragedy for that family. Is there anything investigatory that's, I guess, still going on? I mean, there's no surveillance footage. There's, are you? talking to neighbors or what happens right now? Yeah, neighborhood inquiries will continue. There's still lots of work that goes in to the investigation despite being able to lay a charge um, relatively quickly. There's still a lot of work that goes into the file, so it's not completed by any stretch. Does you know if uh, anybody adjacent to the, the screen in question or anything out of the ordinary today? I'm not. Uh, I'm sure of that myself, but that'll all be part of the neighborhood inquiries that investigators continue today and tonight. Because he made the call, he was, uh, is it safe to assume that he was in the home when police arrived and was taken into custody without incident? That's correct, yeah. He met officers upon arrival to the residence. What was the cooperation factor like? What he was doing? Well, Mr. Van Zuden contacted police, met police at the door, uh, brought them to the inside the residence. So he's cooperated. Any other questions? Has there ever been an instance uh, in history uh, where the uh, people involved were of an age of this age? 
I don't know the answer to that actually.